Hi guys and welcome in the next video. So today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Kuka robots as lately I had a chance to play with them uh, a little bit so I got a chance to refresh my memory and of course share that with you. So I wanted to start with uh, the way how do we do an image backup on Kuka robots. Ready? Let's get started. Five, seven. All right, so uh, I want to start with the image backup first and uh, we are going to cover the regular backup in the next video as I was uh, working uh, last time on the KUKAS, I needed to do the image backup and I thought it's a great idea to share that with you guys. So basically what is an image backup on a KUKA robot? So that is guys literally copy and paste of your hard drive. So uh, what you're going to do is basically uh, make a exact copy of the KUKA hard drive. So there are quite a few ways uh, how to do it. Uh, the one that I'm going to be showing you today is going to be with using a fancy and expensive uh, KUKA stick. However, uh, I do recommend uh, getting one and I think it's a great uh, tool if you work with KUKA a lot and it can save you a lot of trouble if so. Uh, what are the other ways uh, to make the image backup of the KUKA? So I have not done it personally, uh, friends of mine have done it uh, and it works. So you can literally take out the hard drive from the KUKA robot and create a copy with it uh, with using a software that is making a copy of your hard drive. So the same software as you would use for your PC to copy your hard drive and have, have it saved somewhere the same uh, software you can use for the KUKA hard drive as this is Windows based. So you can take uh, the hard drive out, connect it to your PC and create a copy of it. So you have it later and in case something goes wrong, you can always restore it. Uh, but today, as I said, we're going to cover how do we do it with a KUKA uh, recovery stick. So there are quite a few versions of the recovery stick uh, depending on what controller version do you have and what version of the uh, KUKA recovery stick you have. The software might look a little bit uh, different, but the procedure is going to be the same. Uh, so there are two ways how you can make the image backup using the KUKA recovery stick. Uh, one of them is uh, called a silent mode. So basically you don't care about anything. You just plug in the USB and everything is being taken care for you. So of course, uh, this uh, method has some advantages as well as disadvantages. Uh, and the other method is using a, a GUI uh, method. So that's basically where you are going to decide uh, what to do. But in order to perform that, you need to have an external monitor uh, and you need to uh, also have uh, some kind of a pointer like a mouse and keyboard in order to uh, click up, uh, click out through the steps to make the backup. Uh, today we're going just to cover the silent mode as this is the, I probably the fastest and the uh, most easiest way to do the backup. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do it on a real robot. How does it look like? Uh, what does it do? Uh, are there any dangers or are, is there anything that you can, that can go bad while doing an image backup? Of course it can guys, like everything that you do, basically you're doing on your own risk. Doesn't matter what kind of robot it is. Doesn't matter what you do. There's always risk to uh, something. Uh, actually, uh, when I was making the uh, latest image backup of the robot controller, for some reason, uh, after I did it, I was not able to uh, connect to the uh, pendant from the uh, robot. I, will, I don't know why, but uh, like always guys, cycle power solves 90% uh, of the issues. So I just cycle powered the robot and uh, the connection went back. So there is always a risk, especially when you're making stuff like image backups, as this requires the controller to reboot and something can go wrong, but usually it won't. The same with funnel guys, if you're making an image backup of a funnel robot, and uh, somebody will cycle power while doing uh, the image backup. Uh, it happened to me that uh, I needed to restore some older, older uh, image backup of that robot because there's, the controller didn't uh, get up after that procedure. So just keep that in mind that always 
that is always fun at our work that we might need to face. Anyway, uh, so I'll walk you through the steps uh, as uh, I go through the exercise so you'll know how to do the backup in a silent mode. Uh, it's pretty uh, easy guys, so you set up your USB stick uh, on your PC to uh, the parameters that are shown in the instruction that is also uh, located on the KUKA recovery USB stick. As you do that, uh, then you just simply plug the USB uh, inside the robot controller where it's turned off, you power the controller on, everything is being taken care by the KUKA uh, recovery stick. Uh, when it's done, uh, you just need to uh, cycle power the controller, uh, turn, uh, take out your USB recovery stick, boot the controller back up and you're all done, good to go. You have uh, the image backup of the KUKA robot ready. So uh, without further ado, like always, let's get to the exercises. Okay guys, so that's how the KUKA recovery stick uh, looks like. Uh, let me walk you through some folders uh, before we start the software. So first of all, uh, the something that's very important for you is the doc folder. As in here, you're going to find the manuals uh, for the recovery stick uh, with the version of the recovery stick that you're using. So if it's version one, two, three, or whatever, you're going to have the manual in here. So you want to open it, you want to go through it uh, to follow the steps that are uh, needed for you to complete the image backup in uh, with your uh, USB stick. Okay, let's go back. <coughs> uh, as we go back, uh, the next very important thing is the image. So this is the folder where your image will be stored into. Now, that's very important, guys. Before you plug in the uh, USB into the controller, you want to make sure that those files are not here. So you want to simply uh, select them and delete them because you need to have enough USB uh, memory in order to perform the image backup. So you want to delete those files. You want to make sure that the image uh, directory is empty. Uh, the next thing uh, that you care about is the log file. So basically those are the files that will uh, show what was going on uh, during the process. If there were any errors, if something went not as planned or uh, any other important information that uh, you want to take a look at what was happening during the image creation. So very important guys to check out those files to make sure your, uh, that your uh, image backups has been uh, correctly made. So basically uh, you start the software by opening uh, the, that file and here are the configuration uh, settings. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that uh, you select, well, uh, in our case, you want to make sure that you select that you are in the silent mode. So like I said, that's the mode where you don't care about anything. You simply plug the USB, make it do uh, its work, and you power off the, con <clears throat> the controller, you take out the USB, turn the controller back on, and all of your files are going to be automatically saved into the image folder on that recovery stick. Uh, here are some uh, other options that you need to uh, select. Uh, I marked everything uh, how it should be, so you, can guide, so you guys can simply uh, select the same things. If you wanna know uh, more about each of these options, everything is described in the manual, so I'm not going to go uh, through that uh, right now. Uh, now you, then you simply click uh, save, uh, you can close the file and then uh, your USB is configured. Uh, I do recommend opening uh, back once more the configurator uh, to make sure that the settings that you applied are saved. Very important guys, remember that to select that you want to create an image, not restore, as this might uh, cause you uh, some problems because if there were any files in the uh, image folder, the uh, USB is going to restore those files onto your controller. So be very aware to select the option of creating the image, not restoring the image. Ah, uh, okay. So basically right now I'm going to show you how the procedure looks like on the real robot. And uh, after everything is done, after you take out the USB stick, as I said, uh, you want to go to your image folder. So you're going to have the image uh, of the, your C partition, image of your D partition. 
as well as take a look at the log files to make sure everything was completed uh, nicely and there are no issues at all with your image and guys then you're all set you have an image backup of your KUKA robot. Uh, depending on the robot uh, it might take different time to uh, do the image. Uh, for me I think for the one that I'm going to show you of course we're not going to wait uh, as long as I waited but I think it took me around 10 uh, to 15 minutes to make the image of the controller so it does take some time to create it. Alright guys uh, so take a look how it's done in the real robot. Alright, so first we gotta turn off the KUKA controller and wait for it to turn off. So basically we wanna wait until all of the lights goes off and the uh, KUKA controller will be turned totally off. Uh, when the controller is off, uh, you can take your uh, USB stick and plug it into the USB port on the KUKA controller. Then simply you just wanna turn the power back on and you wanna uh, wait until the magic happens. So basically since uh, this moment we don't need to do anything, the procedure is totally automated, we don't need to uh, worry about anything, the controller is going to uh, do everything by itself, just take a look at the manual that is included in the uh, USB recovery stick and uh, follow the steps as you go. So in my case for example uh, the lights LED should indicate what's going on, so pay attention guys how the light is blinking uh, when it changes the speed, so see how it blinks now and take a look how it's going to blink uh, soon, because right now uh, it's bl blinking slow and then it speeds up uh, right now, which means the booting was completed and we are about to start doing the recovery part. So there are two more light indicators uh, that are going to let us know, hey, uh, we're starting the uh, partition image. So the first LED like right now is going to show that the first partition is being uh, copied right now. Then uh, as you can see the USB is blinking, everything is working fine. Then you will, you will see the second LED uh, with the USB blinking which means the partition D is being uh, copied right now. Uh, after everything is done you can see that we have only uh, one LED uh, blinking uh, and the USB does not blink uh, which means the image is completely done and it's safe to turn off the power because your controller will shut down automatically if you're using KLC4 so you can go ahead turn the power off first after the power is turned off so the LED will turn off it's safe to take out the uh, recovery stick and simply power the controller back up, uh, wait for it to uh, boot back up and guys uh, you're ready to go, your backup is completed. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video guys, uh, if you like it, if you want to see more KUKA videos uh, let me know down in the comments, uh, I'll try to make as much as I can and like always, see you in the next video, bye bye!